Happy Halloween. Yes, indeed, folks. It is your Black Knight. And this video is what I'm going to call, in retrospect, my, uh, my pneumonia sessions. I have a slight touch. What's the touch with this floating gourd? That must be haunted. Um, a slight touch of uh, pneumonia. I'm just about getting better. Voice is coming back a little bit. I figured, hey, if you've got a scratchy voice, why not, you know, make lemonades out of lemons? Or lemonades out of lemons? Make lemon out of lemonades. And, uh, do something creepy in game for Halloween. So, here we are. And we're about to investigate. Make sure we've got a gun equipped, yes. The Museum of Witchcraft. Which I guess is based on an actual, you know, Salem uh, Witches Museum or some kind of museum that's actually there in Salem. What? Who's there? Okay. Now we got some. Did she, did she drift into the Children of Adam? Yep. All right. Well, we can leave the children. I was gonna let these guys go. Really, this wasn't part of my Halloween plan. All right. Well, I guess this will just be part of the fun. Okay, you, you're the one who started this fight. She's, she's taking a lot of shots there. Kate, are you retreating? Oh, come on. Let's... You ran away. Why would they have ran away? You'd think they'd like the whole thing. Damn, I suck. All right, let's just let's just move on. Nuka Greeny, that's a pretty, pretty hot item there. Let's see. All right, let's move on. We'll just move on. Hang around. I'll even let you have your bottle caps. Maybe I'll loot you later. Now, Museum of Witchcraft. Now, I'm not one to encourage a witchcraft. Anything interesting on the... But it does seem like a perfectly appropriate thing to uh, do on Halloween. Should I say Halloween? Okay, so we have a, an entrance there. Is that the way we want to go? Let's see, there it is, the Museum of Witchcraft. It looks, looks like, no, it looks like they converted a church, which would kind of be a bit wrong. Probably looks that way in real life. Chained on the other side. Yeah, what, what was that in my, my reflection? You know what you can see behind you with the... Filing cabinet, three more money and the... So, this must be the way in. Door is chained, so obviously we just go in through the basement. Through the middle co-doors. Okay. 
Oh, I forgot this is got to really oh dear. That sounds bigger than a mole rat. Yeah. So naturally we're gonna just first crack a toolbox. That's it. Probably something reasonably bad. Burnt book. Nah. School desks about probably the history of the whole uh, witchcraft. I mean, you know. It's an interesting thing, witchcraft, because, I mean, you know, back in the day, there's a lot of people falsely accused of it. Both out of sheer ignorance of, you know, mental illness and things like that. And uh, for political purpose, you know, for people achieving their own aims. An eight ball. Put that eight ball back. I have, I have. Whoa! You see his bodies just fell down from the... Okay, well that's... I love the sound effect there. Gunners. Okay, well... It's a couple of dead gunners. What's unfortunate about... Of course, the standard... Mannequins here. Something isn't right. Oh yeah, I agree. Got it. We should get out of here. No, 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 no. That's what we do, is we go the places where things aren't right. What's in here? Anything else? I feel like I'm missing something. I guess we're going to have to go up and face the music eventually, right? Left arm bones, battery pelvis bones. A teddy bear. You can't have a haunted teddy bear. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of expected something more of a hint in this basement as to what's going on. Maybe the falling bodies is enough of a hint. Okay, where's this stairwell? That door? That's the door that's open still there. Through here, around, you can sit in the pew. Giving the impression that it was a church at some point. Alright, well, there's some music to be faced, I think. To give you a stim pack, just in case, you know, you need to fit wherever I door number one. Someone made a mess of this place, eh? All right. Given the uh, the deal with where people think the mannequins are actually alive and do things, kind of like the weeping angels of. Too of Doctor Who lore. Ah, Project the Barbarian. What you reading there? The Grognac the Barbarian. Uh oh. Now this is what I'm talking about. A mythic death claw. A 
Should we let her finish it? Get him, Kate. Well, this is very Halloween. She got him. All right, so now we just have to explore the. Looks like we took out a couple of the. Well, that's just creepy. It's probably depicting the actual, you know, the Salem witch trial kind of stuff. What's with the all the little sparkly dudes? Okay, and just. My gunner, these gunners, cracked death claw eggs. Our cracked death claw egg. Pristine death claw egg. Complete. Investigate the museum. Okay, that, that completed a quest. Sergeant Lee's holiday. Um, a nest full of death claw eggs. A dozen, maybe more, smashed to bits. Except this one. No wonder they wouldn't tell us what was in that case. If I'd known, I would have personally told the gunner bosses and that glorified liquor cabinet Wellingham to take those Diamond City caps and stuff them. I guess we know why that. Deathclaw tracked us all the way from Lynn Woods now. <laughs> we stole her damn kids. Christ. Maybe. Maybe if we just return the eggs. Oh, hey, Mama. You looking for this? That's. that's creepy. Okay, so we is there an option here to let's let's take a look at well I'm slowing down. And the computer blew up a little bit on me. It it, it locked up uh locked up fraps. And so then I ended up trying to reboot and then there was Windows update. But we're back. We're we're back here. And I think before I do much else here, I'm gonna change out this headlight. There's a what's that? Oh, that's Sending me to the next part of the quest, but I don't think I'm done here yet. Well, let's see, here's another... It looks like it's a gunner... Oh, he's just bald. I thought it was like a... Uh... Heyday. I thought it was a mannequin dressed as a gunner. That would have been odd. So we're down there. I feel like there's some upstairs or something we can find here. There's a mythic death claw. Okay. This looks like it has potential. Let's see. Can we get there? I think we can if we just get lined up right. Hey, hey! There we go. Whoop! I didn't mean to almost get you there. That's I can clearly get up in here though. Ha ha! Here we are upstairs in the attic. And what shall we find? A trunk. We just some rad X. Um, oh, that's creepy. 
revolutionary sword. I think I'll leave that revolutionary sword where it is. What's this story? We'll take the Mentats, though. Okay, so there was a little Easter egg. Somebody impaled uh, with drugs and... I mean, it is a revolutionary sword. Here we go. Thank you for unimpaling me. I swore I'd be impaled for all eternity. Okay, so enough of that. Let's just hum down. Oh, she screams so much. I feel like... I mean, we're here in a museum of witchcraft. You'd think there'd be something spooky here. Alright, maybe I'll find something here when... Something when I have a better light. That's really annoying. Oh, the witch trials. You know, the sad thing. I mean, there's a lot of sad things here. Not, you know, obviously, just a whole lot of, whole lot of ignorance went into this. I and mean, you realize that the people reacting to stuff at a time when the the go-to uh, reaction to any sort of other religion was oppression. That's why they came to this country. They were being oppressed. But you know, like a hammer. Why bother? That's just garbage. I toss it. But, you know, these people who are doing this were supposedly Christians here. You know, that's this wasn't how you, this isn't how you're supposed to approach stuff. If you had an actual witch, the idea is to try and you know be nice to those people and tell you not like a real witch, like actually like casting fireballs at you or doing some weird stuff. But I mean, if you had someone who was not in the faith, you should try to bring them to the faith by showing them how good the faith is. You know. Kindness as opposed to, you know, doing something else. I remember. There's a funny story about it. Slog. Just point us to the nearest water and hold. Not necessarily the best example of this, but it's a good story that comes to mind. Uh, back in the day, when I was laid off from my job for a while, and I was really trying to pursue my website business, uh, me and Mom went in on this together, and we were, you know, going to business to business meetings. So she'd run businesses before, so she was the business aspect. I was the technical aspect. And, uh... We're here with this one business to business meeting. And the people who organize it decided and this this was at the time when like, you know, having prayer in, in schools and all stuff was really a hot topic. So they said, Well, they wanted to start their meeting off with a prayer. And for whatever reason, I mean they didn't really know us all that well, they decided to ask my mom to say the prayer. Which which you know, mom used to teach uh, you know, catechism and all this stuff, so it would make sense if you knew that, but they didn't know that, but they, out of the blue they asked her to do this. Very strange stuff. So she said a prayer for all of us to do well in business and this and that and the other thing. And so there's one guy at the end of the table. And I actually, I'd known him and his sister a long time. So I don't, it was kind of weird that he would come out of left field like this. Maybe because he knew us. That, you know, he didn't know my mom. He knew me. But he felt comfortable coming out of left field. But he says, hey, so I'm a pagan. So what are you going to do for me? And without missing a beat, my mom said, dear Lord, please get this pagan a job. And that was, you know, it, was, it kind of dispersed the moment, I guess. But there was a lot of hard discussion after that. Well, you know, we're not a, a religious thing and this and that. And the people are like, hey, look, we're organizing this. You don't want to show up? Fine. It wasn't very long after that we stopped going. It was just like, all right, this is, this is a, uh, a stressful situation here, obviously. You know, we, we were plunged into. But, like, you know, the idea is, like, that's, that's what you should do. Listen, you know, all right, I will pray for you and that you find the right path. Not, not hang people. That's not what you'd know. It's... Alright, well I'm gonna head out here. I think there's another quest that goes along with this, but it's just, you know, not active at this point. I must have to do something else to kick that off. So this may not be our last trip to the Museum of Witchcraft. We'll just have to see. As everything loads and loads. I hear it shooting. This didn't exactly take me directly out to the Commonwealth, did it? Use this and use that. 
a visitor's terminal. Take a stroll through the history of witchcraft as you dare. Painstakingly recreated scenes from witchcraft's most, har witchcraft's most harrowing moments. Tours every half hour. Terror provided. No actual char additional charge. Can't tell a cauldron from a grimoire. Gaze long upon our extensive relic collection. Did that do anything? Did coming in from this side, doing the said, reading that, does that do anything? Not really. That's just storage. That's where we came from there. Alright, I think we've, be we've beaten this to death. Like it was a witch, I guess. I don't know. It's What's interesting is that this, this little room is considered Commonwealth. And I gotta be honest, that's a little bit less... Yeah, all right, yeah, you, you see, it, it's like kind of probably going to the actual thing. Is that because the roof is open or something? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, let's just get out of here. Get rid of these chains. And she's already outside. All right, that's the first creepy thing I've seen. There's a way. Let's give it a hundred percent here. Thinking There's nothing to stand on. What was that laser blast? Oh. I like lightning Larry. Killing something over here. Kill the caravan. Oh, it's reload. I'm not killing the caravan guard, no. Not by accident. Oh, it's all just gone to hell. Alright, so we go outside. There's a cow. And everything's different now. Where's, where's, my, where's Lightning Larry in them? Okay, who's this guy? It's Doc Weathers. to convince Doc Weathers to work for me at some point, but where is the bad guy? Okay, so that should have. Gotta be something about you on him. Yeah, some parts. Hey, Doc. Dangerous world out there. Good thing, too. Otherwise, no business for doctors, am I right? Doctor? You want news? Want me to rub your feet at the same time? 
I only got time for one thing. Making caps. Oh, and, uh, you know, helping people. Yeah, see what's wrong with me, doctor. You have any of those symptoms? Tell me about them. Hurting all over, Doc. Eh, I've seen worse. Better stitch you up before infection sets in, though. Cure me! I guess he's not one I can get to. Uh... Done. Now, is there anything else bothering you? No, we're done. Off you go, then. Alright, he's just gonna keep wandering about. And what was I doing? Data, the devils do. Complete, complete delivery of the egg or return the egg to the nest. So where are we going? Return the egg to the nest up here. Complete the egg delivery of the egg up down here. Well, I mean, you know, it seems like the good guy thing to do would be to return the egg to the nest. But, like, you know, is it the good guy thing? I mean, we really need more death claws. I don't think we need more death claws. Do you think we need more death claws? Let us, though, set a waypoint here. Why can't I set a waypoint? Move the current marker. Okay. Well, that moves the marker to like roughly there, so we just know that it's the nest is If we remove marker and then move, then set the marker. Fine, it'll be just south of it. We, we can work with that. I guess I want to go back and deal with that too. You know, no point in leaving the, the lonely mother there. We'll just. Let's go to this Diamond City Market. We can pick up some aluminum in the in the process. I mean, you look. You yeah, yeah, I realize. I realize that the conservationist thing to do would be to give the egg back to the the death claws, so that we can have more death claws, and death claws won't go extinct. But did you really see? A good and useful purpose for death claws. I don't know, keeping Two super mutant populations out. Minute, men. That a thing? I mean, you know. So there's that saying that uh, sometimes better. No funny business. Here, we all pitched in. We want you to have this. You're a hero. You know that? <laughs> That's very nice. Where am I going? We going in the dugout in? Is that the deal? Where am I going? No, how am I through? Who am I returning this to? Started confidence, man. Okay, that's a different different quest altogether. Whatever you're gonna ask, I don't know anything about. Completed talk to the Bobrov brothers? I didn't. I didn't talk to them. I just walked in and out. Oh, this game. Cleaning up the town or something? Let us. Let's load and see what what what, what got screwed up there. Or is that the is that the the latest load? Is that the wrong load? I don't even know this game anymore. So now there's a, uh, okay, so we come in here. We have confidence, man. Is a 
Ah, we gotta load an earlier save. Uh, let's if, we, if that's the best we can do without going all the way back to the mu the museum of witchcraft. Let's go at least talk to them and actually get the conversation. We'll do the talk to the Bobrov brothers. Oh, here we go. Try it. All right, you. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible. Yes. It makes you want to cut your own ears off. Anyway, I, I guess... I don't think I noticed. You listen to it. I it grates on ears know. like sandpaper. This I mean, DJ Travis, he is disaster. Something must be done, and soon. We will have customers suiciding before long. But damn. It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Or at least killing people that hopefully deserve it. Are you serious? Did we not We're just agree back. this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. Look, Ivan. That's I enough. I think we know what we're doing. Him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects... He will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, something like that could be tough to change. No, it's easy to fix. I tell you, Fim, over and over. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Okay, I guess we can... We can... Do a side oh, quest here while we're trying to find where. Whatever you're gonna ask, I don't know anything about it. But what about this? I mean, the all eggs thing. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother. Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so Travis needs to believe in himself, yes? Believe he is capable of more. You know what works well for this? <laughs> a bar fight. Ever been in one? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. It's true. I've seen it with my own eyes. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in Dugga. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? Sounds like a disaster. How would something like that even work? It makes sense. I promise. I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough, and Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Why involve me in this? You have seen Travis, yes? He cannot fight alone, not even fake one. He needs help. You can help him. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. 
promise. Okay. After 6 p.m. All right. Well, now we have to go find out what to do with this egg. Huh. Vladimir's terminal. Hi there. You can order. Well, where am I giving this egg? I have to admit, folks, this isn't very Halloween-y so far. I'm expecting spookiness. It's not particularly spooky. So where am I going to return this stupid egg? What? Not even record the last conversation? I don't even know. Blank. Rip. You gotta go up. Here we go. I may have been programmed to serve, but in your case, I shall do so disdainfully. Let me know when you're ready to order. You waiting on a delivery? Of some death claw eggs, maybe? What are you? Oh, the egg. You must be with those, uh, gunny people. Though your superior had implied there would be more of you, but, well, no matter. The negotiated fee was 200 caps per egg. Generous amount indeed, considering your tardiness. Though our clientele do expect nothing short of the most pristine death claw eggs. Now, do you have something for me? What exactly are you planning to do with the eggs? Well, if you must know, one of our patrons has been asking after a cooked death claw egg, a la Wellingham, for some time. But with your, albeit late, arrival, I can finally make good on his request. Ugh, make good? <laughs> Already beginning to speak like one of you. Now, can we please hurry this up? Are you going to hand them over or not? What you're offering is not enough. I risked life and several limbs to deliver this. Fine, fine. 300 caps. Well above market value. Come on. You can do better than that. You wouldn't want people thinking you're cheap. All right, 400. Whatever it takes to Let's get milk you on this your robot. Way. A lot of folks died bringing you this delivery. Their deaths really mean that little to you. Oh, very well. 500. But not a cap more. Now, the eggs. Alright, do you? Here. Take it. At last. But is this it? Where are the rest? All the others made the trip up to that big death claw nest in the sky. That's so. I suppose this will have to do. Yeah. For a less than adequate job, but job nonetheless. And the special request your superior made? Major Jeffries, was it? I trust you can get this to its destination. Don't just go waving it around willy-nilly. Has my lunch finally arrived? Oh, yes, sir. Endless apologies for the ludicrous lateness of it all. I shall be ready post-haste. You, on your way now. I've yoked a poach. All right, so we did that. Now, let's go world map. Recon Bunker Thayer will have to cross some more. If we go to the Parson State Insane Asylum, well, there you go. That's Oh, the slog is right here. It's on the, just on the other side of the... No, I just moved the marker. It's somewhere up in there. Let's go to the slog. We'll cross the river. Where the slog is where my black armor was. I couldn't find it anywhere. I thought maybe I repainted this one blue. Although I'll tell you what, it was good to have the extra charisma that the uh, the blue suit here, the the vault tech suit offers.
See, the last thing I want is whatever is up here in this nest hunting me down because I gave away its egg. And again, you know, death claws, you're, you're talking, they're about as good as a gimpy gimpy plant. You know what I'm saying? And although I have a good friend who thinks funnel spiders are cute, no, they, they're, there's something there. I think if they're all dead, I don't see it really negatively impacting. That's a boss, raider. There's the horse one. Okay, we got the horse uh, outfit, but that's not really something we want to use right I now. Just can't lose. Let's see. <laughs> Ah, uh, they're killing more stuff over there. We yeah, have the auto cannon to handle them. And we're going swimming. This may or may not be a good idea. We should be able to get up on the shoreline. Okay, so now we're, we're walking the general direction of the aforementioned Deathclaw Nest. Which I don't know that maybe it would despawn after it's over with. See anything that looks particularly Deathclaw-ish? What the heck is that? Lynn Woods. Let's see if we can pass through Lynn Woods here. That seems like a video for another day, doesn't it? Anybody here? It's in this giant tower. Besides grenades. That was not very friendly. You're mine now, rookie. Well, that's annoying. Settler. Let me know if you find some spare ammo. Cryo grenades. How am I get how is the, where are they shooting at and why am I getting points for it? Oh! There's a mythic death claw! An angry mythic death claw. Tearing the crap out of somebody. What are they? A raider veteran, okay. Okay, so we took care of the mythic death claw just to and some raiders, apparently. Now is this where the nest was supposed to be? I don't like to see the nest. Well, moot fruit, yes! We need more of that. We got lots of it. Ooh. We're almost to a point where we can get another gorilla. What the fuck was that? Rust devils. Ah. Did you hear that? It was a nuclear explosion. 
Am I deep? There's some aluminium in there. Playing games with me, huh? Um, no. Did that, did that sound like a game? Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Something <laughs> nice try. Take my first gun fight, rookie. Rookie. Here. Kill him. I'll save this for you. Um. Wheel? I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to find the, uh... The Deathclaw nest now. I'm the Deathclaw. I recall there's supposed to be a gauntlet around here somewhere. Ooh, what's this? A dead protectorate. Well, that's that's kind of random. That light is useless. Totally, totally, totally useless. This is the first bit of real honest exploring I've done in a while, though. Tated ferns. Parsons Creamery. What's here in Parsons Creamery? An advanced save. Not that yes. is. Fifty cal rounds. That makes sense in a creamery, right? Oh my goodness, I hate that light. That's from the creameriness of it all. What's up, Top? Hey, see? I gotta make milk, see? Okay, that's... That didn't work. Am I too big and beefy to get in there with the center? There we go. Toy cars. Toy rocket ship. Bullets. Obviously some kind of... Empty milk bottles. Fishing rods. Enough of this slog. Just point us to the nearest water and hold. Now, if you're getting tired, we can... I can swap you out for somebody else. Ooh, this must be part of the major creaming operation. Not too much to it, so far. Unless I'm just missing something. Somewhere around here, wherever this Deathclaw nest was supposed to be, there was supposed to be some kind of gauntlet, I think. Sitting nearby, but that might that might only be if you go up. Maybe you only get that if you uh, 
return the uh, return the egg. That might be right. We can make a gauntlet. Oh wait, what was whoa? I like your gumption. Gotta be something of value on him. Where did he come from? He's kind of appeared out of nowhere. Well, Tato Blossom. I'm overstuffed again, aren't I? Oh, you know what? We have we have some stuff here. We know it's somewhere around this tower. We can come back in the daytime, perhaps. It's not real far from this log. And investigate that further. Well, gang, I guess that's as that's Halloweeny enough, isn't it? Not really. It wasn't particularly Halloweeny, but we'll see. Hey, it's it's something. It's something to watch. At least now you know the whole devils do egg claw. It's 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 a pretty minor quest, I guess. On that note, well, yeah. Man, I hate that light. This is your black knight. Have a great night. Somewhere there. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. Better. Much better. More better, more better, more best. Okay, so we've returned to the creamery. And now we're just going to go kind of due west. I want to see if I can find a nest. I've still got that marker. But again, this might be really just sad bonus material if this is completely tinned for not. Okay, there's the robot we killed. So this is the general area. Oh, here we go. That's a mythic death clock. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. A dead settler. A dead gunner. A dead settler. You see, it's a dead Brahmin. There's the Death Claw nest. Okay. Yeah, mostly better. So somewhere nearby here, maybe only maybe you only get the reward of the uh, of the gauntlet if you give if you should bring back the egg first. Then you have to like kind of steal the egg back. All right, well I, I'm not too worried about a gauntlet. But here's at least the location. So it might spawn them periodically, so it might be. 
I sort of just think it's oh gee, I really need just a little bit of health and I'm gonna have a little bit of XP to get myself to the next level. Come on back. To the location, and there, there you go. For the bonus material, we at least found the nest. Happy Halloween. Okay, here's one more weird thing. I, I've cleared my, my inventory a few times here, and I don't remember clearing the revolutionary sword that I pulled out of that guy in the in the museum. And yet, when I went through and there was an attack at Taffing the Boathouse, someone had a revolutionary sword. 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 I can see sword. Sword. I don't like this. Not one bit. Yeah, this is definitely a more haunted kind of place here than... I mean, we even keep our own pet ghouls. We'll put this weapon in here for someone. It's, it's more appropriate. Definitely not going to hang around. Nope, nope, nope. 